Welcome back. It is National Youth Month here in the Bahamas, and the Ministry of Youth, Sports, and Culture has a slate of activities for the youth of the nation to get involved with. Youth, Sports, and Culture Minister Mario Boleg says an exciting month of events is planned under the theme, Youth, Excellence is the Standard. Minister Boleg says it is time for the country to recognize the incredible talents that many of the country's youth hold, and this month, they will do just that. The theme... Youth standard of excellence reflects the high expectations we have for our young generation. We believe in their capacity to excel in all aspects of life, from education and entrepreneurship, sports, arts, and community engagement. Our young people are not just the leaders of tomorrow, they are the leaders of today. I repeat, our young people yes, are not just leaders of tomorrow, they are yeah. leaders of tomorrow. Yeah. Secondly, I wish to thank the team of the Division of Youth for their hard work and dedication to putting yeah. on these events. Over the course of the next 31 days, we will shine a spotlight on the standard of excellence that the youth of our nation have displayed. The month will celebrate all areas such as sports, education, entrepreneurship, and many other disciplines. Head of the Division of Youth, Sandina Neely, gives details on some of the upcoming events. We have our partner for more than 10 years, DJ Godson in the building. Let's give it up for DJ Godson. <laughs> Jesus in the Park is happening on Friday, October 6th at BFM. We know that that's going to be a packed house. We also have a partner event, a new event, and Mr. Robards, Chessa Robards, is coming up in a moment to share about that. We are hosting the Chick Charney Challenge on October 7th, and that's going to be very, very exciting. We also have Save Our Little Darlings is hosting an annual gala event on Saturday evening, and we also have Night Under the Stars presented by the Bahamas National Youth Choir in honor of the late Cleophas Adley, and they'll be saying a few words about that. And then another partner of ours, BFM, Bahamas Faith Ministries, they are hosting Youth Sunday on Sunday, October 8th. And then in Grand Bahama, the Pathfinders are having a community service and exhibition event. 2023 is also the year of youth-led action, sustainable and inclusive development for Commonwealth member countries. The full calendar of events is highlighted on the Ministry of Youth, Sports and Culture Facebook page. This week, the Securities Commission of the Bahamas celebrating the 7th Annual World Investor Week, which began on Monday and climaxes on Sunday coming. To begin the week-long celebration, Prime Minister Philip Davis has proclaimed October 2023 Investor Education Month. The proclamation recognizes the role of financial and investor education in helping Bahamians to improve your capacity to manage your personal finances, protect yourselves from falling prey to various frauds and financial schemes, to invest in sustainable future and to be financially prepared for your retirement years. The Commission has several initiatives planned, including the launch of a partnership with the Andrea Archer School, formerly PACE Academy. The aim is to equip enrolled teen mothers with practical skills and tools to make sound financial decisions and create a better future for themselves and their children. The Commission will also host an investor education seminar for employees of the financial services regulators, in addition to launching its investor education newsletter. The global campaign raises awareness about the importance of investor education and protection. Since taking office, the new Governor General Cynthia Pratt has entertained quite a number of courtesy calls from those looking to pay their respects to the head of state. Last Thursday, Her Excellency received A.J. William Exantos, Charge Affairs, from the Embassy of the Republic of Haiti in a courtesy call at the office of the Governor General. Bilateral ties between the Bahamas and Haiti began over 100 years ago when Haiti sent its first consul to the Bahamas and have since shared a close and strong relationship due to the demographics and our history. On September 25th, the Governor General received Julio Cesar Gonzalez Marchante, the ambassador extraordinaire and plenipotentiary of the Republic of Cuba, in a courtesy call at the office of the Governor General. 
November 30th, 2023, will mark the 49th anniversary of bilateral diplomatic relations between Cuba and the Bahamas. Additionally, the Bahamas has supported Cuba in its fight for the elimination of the economic, commercial, and financial blockade imposed on the Cuban people. Also last week, the new Governor General received the Bahamas Down Syndrome Association, who also paid a courtesy call. The goal of the association is to protect, provide, and pursue the better the betterment rather of all children and adults with down syndrome and finally while the nba is gearing up to begin the 2023 season john quell jones and the wnba new york liberty booked their ticket to the wnba finals after beating the connecticut sun 87 84 in game four of their semifinals on saturday to win the best of five series three games to one in that victory john quell finished with 25 points 15 rebounds and four block shots against her former team the connecticut sun meantime john quell has set a wnba record for the most consecutive double doubles to open a postseason with six of them. She also joins the 500 club with 500 career playoff points. Next, John Quell and the Liberty will face the defending champion Las Vegas Aces in the best of five championship series with game one set for this Sunday, 3 p.m. on ABC. And that'll do it for your JCN Evening News. Once again, I'm Jorino Saunders. Thanks so much for joining us. This segment of the news has been brought to you by Sun Oil Limited.